help us understand the degree of stress that plants are experiencing in our drought trials, we utilize this tool here, which is known as a pressure bomb or a Scholander bomb. Now to understand how this device works, you need to understand something about how water is transported through plants. So just a brief overview, uh, as plants are acquiring water from the soil through their roots, they're transporting that water through a series of hollow cells or tubes, which are known as xylem vessels. And that water is transported in a continuous column of these xylem vessels from the roots to the stems and then into the leaves where that water is then transpired out of the stomates during photosynthesis. So as water is transpired out of these leaves and lost out of these leaves as photosynthesis occurs, water needs to be continually pulled out of the soil through these xylem vessels in the roots, in the stems, and in the leaves, and then eventually out of the leaves. So this negative tension that exists throughout the entire plant can be measured using this device. Now under drought stress, where there's less available water in the soil, that negative tension that exists throughout the entire plant where they're trying to pull up that column of water from the soil to the roots to the shoots to the leaves is more severe than under more well-watered scenarios where there's uh, more available water in the soil and uh, there's less negative tension that exists throughout this column of water. It's more easily able to transport that water from the soil to the roots to the shoots to the leaves. So this device is able to measure that negative tension uh, by taking a leaf sample and placing it in a uh, pressurized chamber here. And what we're measuring is the amount of pressure that it takes for xylem sap to be extruded out of a cut surface of that leaf uh, and the amount of pressure that it takes for that sample to extrude sap out of the cut surface <clears throat> is equal and opposite to the amount of negative tension that exists throughout that entire plant. When taking measurements of plant water potential, time of day will have a major effect on plant water status. Plant water potential is dynamic in both space and time and depends on the potentials of water in the different parts of the soil-plant-atmosphere continuum. Measurements of water potential using the pressure bomb are often taken just before dawn when stomates have been closed all night and water potential has time to equilibrate throughout the plant. For many annual crops, measures of leaf water potential taken just before sunrise are assumed to be representative of the mean soil water potential in the rhizosphere. Measurements at midday can also be taken to help understand the degree of water stress which plants are experiencing. So to take our measurement, we want a very fresh leaf sample that we've just harvested from the upper canopy of our plots. And we want to take this leaf sample with a very sharp set of either shears or a razor blade or something very sharp like a scalpel. So we get a nice clean cut across that leaf surface. That's going to be very important in order to get a good measurement. And I'm just going to cut along the midrib on either side in order to fit this in our chamber, we're going to take our measurement along the surface of that midrib and a bit of the lamina to either side of that midrib. And we're going to fit this sample. There's a, a hole in the lid of this chamber uh, where our sample will fit up through. And we don't want to push too much of our sample and have too much of the sample exposed on the other side of the chamber. We just want it to be just coming out of the top of the lid and I'm going to seat there's a gasket that runs on either side of this leaf sample I don't want to crush the sample but I just want a very nice seal so there's no pressure escaping from this hole um, between the surface of the leaf and that rubber gasket so I'm just carefully tightening that again not crushing the sample but we want a good seal then we're gonna lock our lid into place and we're gonna begin our measurement now, to begin the measurement, we're going to slowly begin to pressurize this chamber from our uh, nitrogen tank here. And we do this by turning very slowly this uh, valve here to begin pressurizing the chamber. And I would say recommend pressurizing at a rate about, of about half a bar a second. And while we're very slowly pressurizing this chamber, we're going to be looking with a magnifying glass at that cut surface of the leaf. Um, and we're going to be carefully looking to see when xylem sap begins to emerge um, from that cut surface. As soon as we see that xylem sap begin to emerge from the midrib and from the lamina, we're gonna stop pressurizing and we're gonna take a reading on this gauge here, which tells us how many bars of pressure it took to push that xylem sap to equilibrium to that surface of the leaf where it was initially cut. And that uh, measurement in 
bars is going to be equal and opposite to the amount of negative tension that exists in that plant, and that's going to be your reading of plant water potential.